While Lucifer found a stable home on Netflix to air its final three seasons, seasons one through three were plagued by scheduling changes. Fox bounced the devilish procedural around, which understandably led to confusion among the fans. Thankfully, co-showrunner Joe Henderson and the rest of the show's production team had a plan. That plan involved weaving the bonus episodes of Lucifer into season three. In a 2017 interview with TV Line, Henderson revealed that the writers were actually glad they could incorporate them into the third season Season, rather than tack them all on at the end of season two. He said, We had a really good feeling that these four standalone episodes would be in season three, so we started building them with that in mind. What these episodes do is begin a new story for our characters. Television isn't nearly as episodic as it once was. In the past, many showrunners crafted their shows in such a way that viewers could drop in and out of them without missing big chunks of the plot. While some shows still operate this way, many procedurals tend to have an underlying mythology for viewers to follow. In the case of Lucifer, the writers did an excellent job of balancing the overarching mythology with the cases of the week, but it was rare for the show to actually produce a true standalone episode. That all changed when the extra episodes of season two rolled over into season three, and as a result, the writers got a chance to get weird in the best way possible. Even though the episodes could be watched in any order, they still connected to the larger character arcs the writers were working to create. Henderson Anderson said, What I love about them is that when we found out we would be doing these, we told Warner Brothers and Fox, we're going to go a little crazy on these. We're going to break format a little bit. We're going to screw around a little bit. They're very much still our show, but they're like the episodes of The X-Files that were a little strange, goofy, or dark. Very much the show, but flexing a very different muscle. Since Henderson and his team had an inkling that the standalone episodes would be rolled over to season three, they saw an opportunity to use each outing as a way to not only explore the characters in depth, but also to launch stories within the new season. For instance, in Mr. and Mrs. Mazikeen, Smith made Maze takes center stage for a story about espionage that doubles as an examination of the demon's capacity for love. That episode ended up feeding into Maze's overall season three arc, which found her questioning whether or not she was truly soulless given how many people she cared about on Earth. Likewise, Off the Record was an exploration of the role Lucifer actually plays in sending humans to hell. As he tells Linda's ex, humans send themselves to hell with their guilt, and they're the only ones who keep themselves trapped there, not him. So the devil made you do it, did he? The alcohol and the drugs, the topless selfies. The choices are on you, my dear. In that way, this standalone episode actually holds a huge revelation, at least in terms of Lucifer's complicated relationship with humanity. It's true that viewers could watch these particular outings in any order and enjoy them, but even though they were crafted to stand on their own, they each contain a wealth of character-rich storytelling and plenty of fiendish twists. Lucifer is a show with rich mythology, and that's part of its appeal, but the standalone episodes that rolled over into season three make an excellent case for writers being allowed to stretch their creative muscles muscles without worrying about advancing the season-long arc week in and week out. Ultimately, even though the standalone episodes were a byproduct of the show's scheduling woes, the end result was four unique outings that fans may never have gotten under more stable circumstances. And given the quality on display, it would have been a shame to see those fascinating episodes left on the cutting room floor. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.